in 20 years of my lifetime, I have seen grouse go extinct across landscapes that I hunted them. Southern New Hampshire and Eastern Massachusetts, we hunted grouse when I was a kid. And uh, last grouse I saw there, I was in my early 20s. And that's a really short span time for somebody at 37 years old to say, hey, I've seen these birds disappear from the landscape. I think a lot of people look at this situation and they don't realize the dire need. For the Rough Grouse Society, it is the Rough Grouse Society and the American Woodcock Society because it's about this healthy forest. It's about biodiversity. Woodcock has become a cornerstone of being a bird hunter. If it wasn't for woodcock, I essentially wouldn't be able to hunt wild birds like I do. I have to drive three hours to get into good grouse hunting, but I chase woodcock from Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut. The dog work is really? exciting, it's achievable. The woodcock is an incredibly beautiful bird, it's an amazing creature. In my lifetime, if we keep at the pace, you'll have to go to Canada to hunt rough grouse. And I don't care if you hunt in the best habitat in this country, you have an obligation to everywhere, not just the best cuts in the upper Midwest or the best cuts in Maine or New Hampshire. We have an obligation to the Southern Appalachians. We have an obligation to the West. We have an obligation to everywhere that this bird's been or should be. Right now, we are in a fast decline between climate change, West Nile, all these different factors that it just had an extreme effect on this bird. And it would be an absolute sin to see that go away. We went through this culture where it was, well, what can the Rough Grouse Society do for me? And that's the wrong mentality. The mentality that we need moving forward is, what can we do as members for the Rough Grouse Society? Are we talking to people in our state government? Are we educating people on it? Are we giving money to the organization? Are we joining the organization? If you're a heater hunter, if you're picking limb fruit, if you're shooting birds over a staunch point in the most particular circumstances ever, if you take from the resource, you need to be a member of the Rough Grouse Society. We're hunters and we need to stop and say, are we really conservationists? Just buying a hunting license does not make you a conservationist. Taking the extra step, joining a nonprofit, fighting for the future of these birds is imperative because we are legitimately facing an extinction in our lifetime. And, and I will be damned if I'm part of the generation that did not draw a line in the sand and fight. The sustainability of this is so important and not just for hunting, it's about a healthy forest. That's what the Rough Grouse Society is. It's about a healthy forest. My name's AJ DeRosa. I'm the creative director of Project Upland, and I'm a proud member of the Rough Grouse Society and American Woodcock Society.